Hello everyone, welcome to today's lesson on Plus Cafe brought to you by HD Consult. So today we are going to do a small, a quick introduction on AutoCAD. So first of all, let's open our software. So for those who haven't yet installed the software, please look in the description below for the video on how to install it and do so accordingly before you come to this video. So let's start. So for AutoCAD, you can open it directly from your desktop. But unlike me, you, you, you might be old fashioned and like to go to the start menu. So you click on the start menu and go to AutoCAD. It's there for you to see too. It takes a while for it to open. If your machine is fast, it just some few seconds. So voila, there you go. So in our previous lesson, we, we didn't activate our software. So we have to do an online sales version. That's a 30 day trial. So for that's for the purpose of this tutorial. So to start, you can just go to start drawing or you can open a template file, whichever way. But for this tutorial, we just open a new drawing. So basically, this is the Autodesk AutoCAD interface. This is what you see when you open your software. In earlier versions, this is the same thing you see. Just that some of the diagrams are just look just good fashioned. Okay, so what is AutoCAD? Autodesk AutoCAD. So Autodesk AutoCAD is a drafting and design software package brought to you and developed by Autodesk. It's it came because of the needs of various architects and engineers all over the world. At first, they used to be using this drawing board, T square, and pencils. And it took a long while to produce just a working drawing for any structure they want to put up. So they came up with this software to help them to draft and detail their work. I want to show you um, something I did. So this is some drawings I did on uh, some buildings. Okay, so this is what I, I have used AutoCAD for in my experience in using AutoCAD. I've used it to de detail some beams. So this is this is a residential building. And I've detailed the beams in AutoCAD. It's a very handy software and it's very easy to learn. But it's complex as well. But don't be discouraged. I'm here for you. We are come to teach you so that you go out into the world and also teach other people. So let's get back to our interface. So this is what you see when you open any AutoCAD software. So in this lesson, we are going to look at the AutoCAD environment and the interface. And we are going to look at some basic commands you encounter in your your experience with the software so let's 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 get started so let's see so this is the AutoCAD interface as you can see on my screen so this is what we call the drawing area the black screen you see that's what we call the drawing area and this white line over here is what we call the command line over here you type uh, any command that you'll be using in your drawing for example i want to draw a line I just type line over here in the command the command line over here so I can use to draw a line you understand okay so over here is what you call the UCS icon it's 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 like a Cartesian plane for those who have done basic mathematics if you haven't done don't worry so this the you what you call the UCS icon and over here these tabs are called paper space tabs what happens is that after you finish your drawings you come here to look at how it will look on on paper let me let me show you an example so this is to take a while because the drawing is uh -huh. so this is a copy of beam detailing that i did some time ago so you can, as you can see it shows the drawing on paper 
So this is what the paper space tab do. And the small cross you see at the middle of your screen is what you call crosshairs. It's basically like a mouse pointer you use when you are using your normal computer. So in AutoCAD, this is the mouse pointer. It's called crosshairs. But when you move over to this side, it changes to the normal mouse pointer. But on the, what I call the drawing area, you understand, as I said earlier, it changes to a crosshair. And over here is what we call the ribbon. If you are familiar with uh, Microsoft Word, Microsoft Excel, they also have these kind of tabs. These are what we call ribbons, okay? And these are, these are new. Okay, this is the ribbon. These are new things that came in recent from 2012 version of AutoCAD. In older versions, you see some cascading drop down windows and this is the latest version so you see a ribbon over here with some commands on it so as i mentioned earlier autocad is a very complex software but it's easy to learn and you can't do this on your own without any proper coordination you get bored along the line and you just stop so i would like to encourage all of you that are are learning the software to make time for it and if even after this boot come find time and practice and practice the autocad autodesk autocad we'll provide some exercise files for you to, for, to engage you so let's look at some basic um, commands in autocad like a normal drawing board even before that if you look on your on this screen, you realize that there are a lot of commands on what on the screen as you can see there are a lot of commands a whole lot there are thousands of commands and under these commands there are thousands of options that you can consider and I can't go through all on all the thousand commands and I'm not sure I'm well versed with all the thousand commands. But in a normal drawing, you don't need all the commands to, to do anything. So this is an example of a foundation of a building. So like I said, to use the software, the commands are many. They are many. So to use the software, you must understand two, two basic facts, okay? So on a typical project, um, almost 95% of your time is spent uh, using only 5% of the commands okay so getting started with AutoCAD is very easy so there are many people that start AutoCAD they get used to the basic commands and from there they they just stop they don't go any any further they don't they don't practice they don't do anything and they forget what they do so you only need to learn a few commands and as you progress when you build confidence you you learn uh, new ones so a complex drawing is made up of these basic commands that I'm talking about and these fundamental objects appear over and over again. For example, let's say a straight line. So let's say this dimension line, for example, it's just a straight line, as you can see. Another example is a circle, as you can see around this object, it's just a circle over here. So that's a basic, it's a basic object that you can draw. So understanding and I also like to add that um, these commands, these objects interact with one another to make a complex drawing like as I've indicated. So this circle interacts with this line to make this dimension line, this, uh, how they call it, grid line, okay. And also if you look at the foundation footing, these are just lines that they've drawn, okay. They are just lines that interact with one another. So it's just some few basic commands that interact with each other to make a complex drawing line. So you don't need to know all the thousand commands. So when you learn these basic commands as you progress, you can learn new things. Okay. You can learn new things like 3D drafting and all those stuff. So let's go through some of the basic commands. As I mentioned earlier, one is a line, one is a circle. One is an arc. You can also draw an arc. 
uh, we, we, we can also see rectangles in the drawing so these are the basic commands that you will see in a normal drawing okay so in using these commands so you also need to edit these commands to make them interact nicely okay so for example let me draw a simple rectangle I'll just I just want to draw this small thing over here so let me draw a simple rectangle okay I'll just draw a line don't worry about the steps I'll teach them later okay I'll just draw a line there's something small okay so to make these things interact there are some commands that I use maybe I, I don't want this line again and I want to erase it I can just click on erase or even type erase over here you see that so the line has vanished okay or maybe I can draw a line through this thing and I don't want the top side so there's a command called trim I'll just trim it I've trimmed the top side off okay so these are the basic commands that uh, work with AutoCAD they are aside erase and trimming there's also commands like move maybe I want to move this whole thing to another side I just come here and just move it I want to scale it maybe I see that the drawing is too small I want to scale it I just scale it as you can see it's becoming smaller and bigger as you can see so for those people who are conversant with these skills and all those things and I can also rotate it can also rotate the whole drawing or just some basic command I've drawn as you can see I'm rotating the drawing so let me, let me do it this way isn't it beautiful okay so I can also mirror this drawing this is common when people don't want to waste their time drawing all over again you can just mirror it as you can see that just repeated the same drawing by just a mirror image of the drawing and I, I can also extend lines okay maybe I've drawn a line that it's not enough let me see I want to draw a line okay draw a line over here so maybe this line I don't like it I want to extend it to this red line over here so I'll just extend it so extend is another command that you can also consider and there are several commands that you can also but these are the basic ones that you are likely going to encounter and if you've been observing you've been seeing that the drawing has become smaller and bigger as time goes on without me using any skill or anything so that that's called the zoom command okay so it's it helps us to view our objects this is not like the normal drawing board where your, your whole drawing is in front of you so you can move around and look at it it's not like it so you can zoom to any aspect of your drawing to have a closer look as you can see and there's also a pan command maybe the drawing is here and I want to view it in this way so I just pan it you see that small hand over there moving it here as you can see and maybe these lines are supposed to be broken lines okay but they are not appearing very well so I can regenerate the drawing to show that here so you see you can see it very clearly so that's that's all for now there are also ways of interacting with autocad okay so as, as i've introduced you to these basic commands there are ways in which we can interact with autocad to 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 in which we can tell autocad what to do okay so there are four basic ways in which you can interact with autocad so the first one is to type a command in the command line as I mentioned earlier so this is the command line maybe I want to draw a line I'll just type line over here 
Okay, so the line command uh, activates and I just draw it. I want to draw a circle. Just type circle and voila. Maybe I want to draw a rectangle. Rectangle. Voila, as you can see. And I can also use icons in the ribbon. Okay. So instead of typing here, this is one of the oldest ways of um, activating commands that's typing in the command lines but the most recent ones is using the ribbon so instead of typing the line in the command line just come and click line over here maybe i want to draw a circle i just click on the circle command maybe i want to draw a rectangle i just click on the rectangle command over here even an arc can just click on it of any radius i like okay so that's that's the second option using ribbons and i can select commands from this menu bar this drop down cascading windows i can use it okay so maybe i want to draw a line as you can see so you can follow the same procedure and also there's an option called toolbar icons okay so let me move this thing here. let me show you an example of a toolbar so for example, I don't want to go to the ribbon to go and look for commands. I can just bring it here. So this is what we call a toolbar. It contains the tools of the commands that we need. So I can just use them. So these are the four basic ways in which you can interact with AutoCAD. We've come to the end of our first lesson. So in this lesson, we learned some basic commands like the ones used to draw objects and those includes a line circle and an arc and also some basic editing commands like move mirror rotate trim and also some viewing commands like zoom in and all those stuff so in our next lesson we are going to look at these commands in detail so for example if you want to create an object maybe you want to draw a line how do we draw a line how do we draw a circle how do we move an object in our next videos we are going to address these issues we are going to go through in details thanks for watching this video don't forget to subscribe and click the like button